My name is Dr. Caroline Stites. I am a founder and the president of Vibrogenics. And we are manufacturer here in the US of the Vibrosonic machines, four different models. Fascinating technology. Where did this originate from and how do how you end up here? It just, it's so different. I'm used to, as a gym owner, I'm used to having mechanical plates that are really jarring. You gotta keep my knees bent, jars the spinal system. How do you, I mean, what's the difference between this? Why don't I just go get a mechanical system? Night and day difference. So with a mechanical technology, which is very, very prevalent actually, your maximum influence is within two feet of the plate. So that's why you actually have to get down on the plate to do some of your exercises to stimulate the bones and muscles. It does do some good. I'm not gonna say it doesn't, but this is 100 times the machine. This has sound frequency technology. So when you're standing on here, those frequencies go all the way through your body and it's, it runs in a sine wave. So it's a curve at the top and a curve at the bottom. Mechanical frequencies, they're rough and destabilizing, like you say, and sometimes even harmful because it's an up stop, down stop, up stop, down stop. And the body really doesn't like that. But this is music for your cells. And this actually increases the energy in your cells. And you can see that on a dark field uh, microscope before and after just 10 minutes. So how does this go through your whole body because of sound? That doesn't make sense to me. Okay, it works really effectively with sound because sound travels really well through fluid, which we are mostly fluid in our body. It tra travels five times faster. And sound can actually increase your cell voltage all over your body. Mechanical can't do anything to increase cell voltage. And that's been proven on blood tests before and after. Also, if you look at the body from the standpoint of quantum physics, I mean, you're using sound to go through space and they say that we are 99.99999% space on an atomic level. So between those two factors, it literally will affect every cell equally, just as much at the top of your head as the bottom of your feet. When you talk about cell voltage, that's a really new concept to most people. Why don't you explain that a little bit further, what that means to the actual cell, and more importantly, what does it mean to the person that is experiencing that? Right, cell voltage uh, was actually discovered and Otto Warburg got a Nobel Prize for his research he did in cell voltage. And what he found was that the average American at that time, and this is, you know, 50s, 60s, had a cell voltage somewhere around 50 millivolts. But the actual optimal cell voltage was 70 to 90 millivolts. And there's an overall negative charge to the surface of the cell. So as soon as you get your cellular energy or your voltage up, your cells will push away from each other. And that's when they bring in more oxygen and nutrients and expel waste products and actually heal themselves. So this is a fantastic tool for getting your body to heal itself. And when it heals itself, okay, does it stay up there? Can I just get on this one time and it's all healed and done? Or, or do, do my cell voltages drop back down again? So if your cell voltage, let me finish answering another question and I'll get to that. So if your cell voltage, for people that start getting sick a lot, their cell voltage is around negative 30 millivolts. And if you are getting ready to die, your organs shut down at negative five millivolts. So getting on this machine once or twice, yes, I have seen miracles, but they don't have to do with cell voltage. Cell voltage is something that will continue to climb over time. Your cells will get to a higher and higher and higher vibrational frequency to where they'll hold. I would never stop using this. I mean, I, I use it every day and I like to keep it at its optimal level. That's awesome that it would have that kind of capability. Most people have no comprehension that that really happens in their body. But almost everybody that comes off of this machine says, oh my gosh, I just feel so invigorated. Yeah. Is this what they're feeling when they feel just kind of so invigorated and enlightened again? And it's like, wow, my, my life just changed. Yep, it's an energy boost for 100 trillion cells in your body. So it doesn't get better than that. Where did this come from? I mean, you know, this, this technology, I think, is relatively new. Where did it come from? And, you know, how did you end up in this position where you're now manufacturing this plate and all these sound frequencies and healing energy and things? Where did that start? Where did, how, did, how did you get from there to where we are today? I was introduced to this technology shortly after it was manufactured. There was a manufacturer in Korea, and I thought it was a pretty interesting technology. There'd been a lot of mechanical plates that were already being used in Europe, nothing really majorly into the American market. So we ordered one and checked it out, ended up importing and distributing for that company. 
And then there was one other manufacturer uh, that was also in Korea, and we also imported and distributed and opened the U.S. market for them as well. And I was very, you know, happy doing that, but I, my sound re frequency research that I've been doing for years kind of led me into adding 80 years for the sound frequency research into the software. So then I had mach a machine that I couldn't play the software through, and I had no control over quality. So I got a business partner and we went into manufacturing and nothing like this has ever been done before. It literally integrates several different kinds of technology into one. It is the most holistic wellness, fitness, mental, physical, emotional well-being system that you can get. You talked earlier about how this is both natural medicine, which is your specialty as a naturopath. It's Eastern medicine, it's Western medicine, and tell us about what the various components, why does it fit into those various categories in a little more detail? Okay, so with Western medicine, that's what most people are traditionally uh, used to. One thing about this machine is that it's more effective than anything I've ever seen at moving the lymphatic system. And Western medicine is looking at con uh, lymphatic congestion as being the number one cause of illness and disease. So being on this machine, even in t for 10 minutes, gives you what's equal to an hour of cardio or 90 minutes of Tai Chi or Qigong. And it also helps stimulate the bones. So it actually will help reverse osteoporosis. There's been a lot of studies done on that. Um, that answer your question? Yeah, what about the Eastern medicine side? Okay, so the, the Eastern medicine side, there's some amazing software in here for chakra balancing. Um, that I love. So there's a lot of techniques, people that are into Eastern medicine, they do realize that if chakra energy center is blocked, that there's a whole lot of emotional and physical problems that go along with that, especially if it's blocked over a period of time. There are exact frequencies that have been pinpointed that will open those energy centers. So that is fantastic. The ancient tones are in here. The other thing about this from the Eastern standpoint is the 90 minutes of Tai Chi or Qigong, that is actually what I referred to before as seeing miracles at times. I will see people that have been in pain for years from a shoulder, a back, uh, knee, doesn't matter what it is. If it is blocked energy, and humans are amazing at blocking energy inside of us. If it is blocked energy, I have seen this technology move that energy block in one or two sessions and they are fine. It's like almost seems like a miraculous healing. That's kind of Eastern medicine right there. Yes. And, and don't they teach that a lot that all disease is from blocked energy and yep. so you've actually seen this work on clients where they've gotten on the machine and all of a sudden they can move, have range of motion and be pain free where it hadn't happened before. Right, right. And they, most of these people have tried many, many other things. Last resort for them, maybe, but maybe. it's the last thing they tried because it worked. Yeah, yeah. And now is kind of more important time than ever. You know, 2020 has been really rough on a lot of us. There's an awful lot of stress. Everybody's cortisol levels are maxed out. A lot of people struggling with weight. Our obesity rate in the U.S. is now 42.4%, which is the highest it's been. It's a new record. And, you know, the rates of suicide and depression and domestic violence and divorce have just skyrocketed and now more than ever it's super important to take care of ourselves and we can't go out to the gym a lot of places we can't go out to public so we are being isolated people are really really struggling and this is the greatest gift that you can give yourself and those those that you love and it keeps on giving every day i have these two items in my home and i use them virtually every day they keep me going keep me pushing forward keep me strong keep me energized you talk about weight loss briefly there, you mentioned that. How does this work as weight loss? I, mean, I think most of us understand that any exercise is weight loss, and this is Correct. exercise on this machine, which is, as you just said, is about 10 minutes, is like walking a mile or some numeric equivalent to that. Right. How does, what else does it do for weight loss? Okay, so there's frequencies that have been developed that are actually being used in non-invasive lipo for lipolysis and cavitation. It's two different ways of getting the sap bill to break down. And then it releases uh, all its contents into the system and your lymphatic system is responsible for getting rid of it. So every weight loss center that's using any kind of lipolysis needs to have something like this just to move the lymphatic system and get all the fat back out of your body so it's not redeposited. 
but we have those frequencies inside this machine. There's also fr frequencies that will stimulate the metabolism and help you release stress. We did a short-term study. I wanted to see what would happen if we ran a study for a month. And all the studies I'd ever read had been six months, eight months, a year. And I wanted to see what would happen if we did it for a month for weight loss and wellness. And we had 28 people that finished it, 71 started, but they had to be on the machine for 20 minutes, three times a week. That was it. And they had to complete at least 11 sessions to be, to qualify as data. I had one guy that lost 21 pounds and 21 inches. We did all of their measurements. We did an assessment on well-being, how they were sleeping, how they were feeling, levels of depression, anxiety, stress, that kind of thing. We ran frequencies for stress relief and for weight loss and for mood elevation. And those combined, did an amazing job. Our average weight loss was four pounds. These were average people at, not asked to change anything. I did ask them to drink more water because this helps you detoxify tremendously. So it's very, very effective for that. And then it takes you to your right weight and then you'll stay there, just as long as you keep using it. <laughs> when this technology first came out, it was used primarily in chiropractic offices, if I understand correctly. It was. And, and so where have you seen this having great application? You talked about it in the home, but does it have other places that you know, might make sense for this, app, for this application? Yeah, well, in athletics, for sure. Um, hopefully everything will open back up soon. I know that uh, Washington State University has these machines and the chairs for recovery for the athletes because that is one area that is, there's nothing in it. There's, there's no devices to really help these athletes recover rapidly. And the most important thing to avoid injury is to get fully recovered. And as soon as you stimulate 100 trillion cells in your body, they start repairing themselves. Muscle cells start repairing really fast so that the athlete recovers and is ready to play hard the next day. Also relieves muscle soreness, lactic acid, massage does the same thing. So the two together are a great combination for athletics, for anti-aging. You know, as you age, everything slows down. Even your cell voltage, your cellular energy comes down. And this is, it doesn't really have an age limit. I mean, as long as you can stand on here or put a chair on here and sit, it's going to increase your circulation, increase your lymphatic movement, help your bones stay strong, help elevate your mood, all of the things that it's set up to do. And you can do it passively. So 10 minutes of passively standing there is equal to an hour of moderate cardio. Not running, but like brisk walking. And uh, the same thing is equal to 90 minutes of Tai Chi as far as energy movement in the body. So for chiropractors, what they found, and we sold them to a lot of chiropractors initially, they found that their patients adjusted easier and the adjustments held better. It helps move that block energy. It helps loosen things up, get the, all the fluids flowing in the body. And they would see people start recovering and they could even set people up on a program where they could just come in and use the machine in between adjustments if need be, just for higher maintenance. So I'm an athlete and I love to work out, even though I don't, am not professional at all, I just love to play sports. How does this affect my playing sports and recovery? You mentioned that and you know, I'm an old guy, so does it have better effect on me than <laughs> young people? And talk about that a little bit to us, would you please? So the one thing I have noticed as I've aged, <laughs> and I'm sure you've noticed it too, is that as you get older, you recover slower. It takes you longer, and especially if you want to play at the same level that you did before and do the same strenuous things, you're more prone to injury and you heal slower. So the most important thing to staying up on your game, being super active, and being able to train hard and play hard every day is full recovery. Is there any evidence that Full recovery really happens. Have you seen some athletes that have gone from, you know, wow, I did my super hard workout and I know I can do it again in four days, where they all of a sudden go, holy cow, I'm ready to do this again. It's the next day. Have you had any people that have actually experienced that? We have. We've had somebody that was uh, training for the Emerald Cup that did really heavy leg workout and usually has to take a few days off before he does another one, especially when he's dieting down hard. And he did, I think, three, two or three sessions on the machine and did the same workout the next day without his regular weight belt and stuff on. He didn't think he could do the same weight, and he did the same weight, got a really strong workout by the next day. It's, it's happened over and over and over again. So how do you use this if you're an athlete? You know, I'm an amateur athlete, 
How would, you, how would you recommend this? Do I do it before I work out? Do I use it after I work out? Do I do it two days later? How, how do you use this? So a personal story with the first machine that we uh, imported is I was running a lot back then and I had some cartilage damage in my knees, you know, make everybody plug their ears when I walk up a stairwell because the sound, <laughs> they didn't hurt too bad, but they didn't sound good. So I started using the machine 10 minutes before I'd run. Usually hated the first three miles and then I noticed, wow, I didn't hate the first first three miles. It's just been kind of good the whole entire run. And then I get on afterwards and it got rid of the inflammation in my knees. It, my knees made a full recovery, by the way. It, it over time broke down those little pieces of cartilage that were damaged and floating around in there. The body can regenerate itself. We are created to self heal. We just need the right tools and cellular voltage and nutrition. I'm a naturopath and I have a master's in nutrition. I can't underestimate that. Nutrition is really important. Every day you're building new cells. And this is how your health can get better and better and better. If you give it the right building blocks, every day is building healthier cells. Every 48 hours you have new rods and cones in your eyes. Did you know that? New right. rods and cones. So, you know, if you ever notice if you party really hard, you know, your vision's not as sharp <laughs> the next day. No, I don't. It, it <laughs> takes a couple days for those to regenerate. So if your diet is poor, all the cells that are being replaced are less functional than the ones that are just old and dying off. It's a natural process in the body for cells to die and new ones to take their place. And you want those new ones to be healthier. And if you have your cellular energy up and if you eat right, it's going to do the trick. I have seen people after four to six months on this, like 10 or 15 years goes away in the anti-aging population. They just, they look like different people. You know, I've seen someone with big jowls and stomach and it totally disappeared to the point where I really almost didn't recognize him. He had to stand there for a minute. So it's, it's phenomenal technology. And you can use it in PT, in gyms for recovery, in weight loss centers for sure. I think I already mentioned that. Um, just about anywhere, especially in your home. So, so you use this thing every day. Is that what you really recommend for people? And I do. If you do it every day at home, how long are you using it for? I usually use it 20 minutes a day. And if I am training really hard or if I've skied really hard, especially I'm a slalom skier, if I have a ski accident, I'll actually do a second session. So one in the morning, one at night. It also works really well for insomnia. There's insomnia frequencies on here and stress relief. And I absolutely recommend that at bedtime. It puts people to sleep and they'll sleep through the night. I use it first thing in the morning. I try to use it before I do anything else. And I actually, I use weights and I use bands and I do some resistance training while I'm on it. So, so how important it is, to, how helpful is it to do like weight training while you're on, on the vibration plate and this whole body is being integrated with sound and then you load it up with uh, either bands or dumbbells or barbells or whatever your choice is. So, if you do resistance training while you're on the machine, you're actually going to put on muscle about 50% faster. You'll tighten in tone. It gives you a better workout because you're getting your cardio on at the same time. It also saves you time. So how do, how do I know how to do that on the machine? Well, we're making a series of videos, exercise videos, so that you can have them at home with your machine and watch them. Or you can, if you have a business and you have the machine, you can play the videos and, or have your clients select the video that they wanna see. So kind of like Peloton does a class, this is a class for you. Working different body parts at different intensities. You know, one of the things that's really intriguing is you've been on this journey and now you've ended up this point where you're now manufacturing this equipment that you use to import. It seems to be a passion of yours that just keeps growing and growing over time. So how did you end up at this point? Well, that's been quite a journey. So I was born into a family that had powerful women that were medical doctors. My mom taught medical school. My aunt was a phenomenal physician, specialized in pediatrics, obstetrics, great surgeon. And I idolized what they did. My mom taught medical school. So by the time I was about 12 years old, I had enough interest and was so bent on being a doctor that my aunt would let me go around with her. I was almost this height at 12 and then just stopped. But she'd let me go around the hospital with her and I, she'd let me in to see surgeries if the patients were good with it and to see deliveries. And I was absolutely sure that I wanted to be a traditional medical doctor, someone just like her. 
And then when I was getting ready, I was finishing college and getting ready to look into medical school, I was in my junior year actually, I started thinking about other questions. It's like, how come we're cutting tumors out and we're giving people drugs for things that have side effects that we give other drugs for that have side effects, but we're not addressing how that tumor got there in the first place or that problem got there in the first place. Isn't it gonna reappear? I mean, they're living the same life. We're not changing anything for the better. And she says, you know, honey, it's just, Band-Aid medicine. These are the tools they, they give us, surgery and pharmaceuticals, so this is what we use. And I kind of spent a lot of time contemplating and took a hard right and went into naturopathic medicine. Thought, oh, this is it. This is like the missing link. We can kind of combine it with the, you know, there's times for traditional medicine for sure, but you combine the two, you know, maybe it'd be the perfect balance. And then you get done with school and you're handing out handfuls of homeopathics and herbals and it just seemed like once again, we were inundating the body. I thought, well, this is a step better than a handful of pharmaceuticals, but how can we make this better than that? There has to be something else. And then I started studying Eastern medicine and energy medicine. I thought, oh, Reiki, this is it. Became a Reiki master, taught, opened up a healing center. You know, it's the one time in my life that I felt like this is what I'm meant to do. I was so energized and so elated about helping people feel better, get better, whatever they need, you know, and people are so different, you know, some of them need these two pieces of the puzzle and some people need these two pieces. But if you figure out what that person needs and treat them holistically, so that's mentally, emotionally, their home situation, whatever it is you can do to support a healthy human being, give them the right energy, give them the right supplements, balance out their system nutritionally. It was just amazing. I loved helping people. But learning energy medicine made me realize that that is exactly what we are. We're just this toroidal energy field, constant movement in the energy field. And the way you can affect somebody, the greatest, is energetically. So I started studying frequency medicine. And I thought, wow, if you could combine this with the other things, the frequency medicine was profound. It was years worth of frequency research that has really never been utilized because it's really hard to monetize. I call it music for your cells, cell tunes. So it's hard to monetize that. So, you know, big pharma, big medicine doesn't really want to utilize that. But I started using the frequency programs that I could find. I started testing them and using them with the prior machines that I imported. And putting the two together seemed to amplify the effects of either one by 50 to 70%. And I thought, this is magic. This is what we have to do. So, you know, you get the computer, you set it beside the machine. It was kind of a setup, kind of a hassle, but that's all we could do. When we went into manufacturing, we re incorporated everything I've learned along my path into this machine. And trust me, it's not just another exercise machine. This is something that will blow your mind.